are about to hear a romantic drama, Streak of Moonlight, from Street and Smith's Love Story magazine, featuring the love story girl in the role of Toby Ludlow. Toby Ludlow and her grandfather, affectionately known as Gramp, live on a little farm outside New York. Toby hasn't always lived on a farm. In fact, oh, now, wait a minute. I'm getting ahead of my story. As our first scene opens, we find Toby and Gramp sitting on the porch of the farmhouse. It's dusk. Gosh, it's a beautiful night, Toby. Mm. Yeah, what are you thinking about? Well, if you must know, Gramp, I was wondering whether we'll get enough of those pigs to warrant the trouble raising them. <laughs> yeah, quite a farmer you've turned into, Toby. I never would have thought it. Oh, it's surprising what you can do when you have to. Golly, look at that car coming. Oh, whoever it is certainly seems to be in a hurry. Look at him bounce over those ruts. Gosh. Taking an awful chance driving down this lane at that speed. Uh, come on, maybe somebody's hurt. Oh, Gramp. Gosh, certainly made a wreck out of that car. I can't look. It's all, it's all right, Toby. There's just one young fellow in here, and I, I don't think oh, he... Oh, Gramp, is he... No, don't, don't think he's even hurt bad. Oh. Uh, just knocked out. You better get him out of the car. Oh, here, come on, I'll take him by the shoulder. Oh, I... Come on, come on, let's get him into the house. <sighs> Come in. Oh, are you awake? I guess you could call it technically awake. My head feels as if it, I'd been splitting logs with it. You should have better sense, Mr. Callie Graham. Oh, so you know my name. Well, when a man as prominent as you was engaged to New York's most spectacular debutante, people are bound to recognize you from your pictures in the Sunday papers. Oh, I see. By the way, just what happened last night? Anyway, I'm a little foggy as to the details. You ran your car into a tree. Oh, that was it. I guess I was a bit potted. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What will your fiancé think about it? Oh, Sherry? Well, probably nothing. Oh? Yes, you see, we were to be married yesterday afternoon, in place of which she eloped to Mexico with a moving picture actor. Oh. Hence my condition last night. Oh, oh, oh now, don't, don't try to get up. Just take it easy. But I've got to see about getting my car fixed. I, I already had the garage take it away. They told me it'll take them four or five days to get it running again. Oh, you've been awfully decent taking care of me like this. Oh, that's all right. As a matter of fact, I live here alone with my grandfather, and we don't get much company. Oh, I see. Look here, I've got an idea. I want to stay away from New York. I don't want to see anyone for a while. How about letting me stay here? I'll pay you. Oh, that won't be necessary. If you want to stay, you can work for your keep. Huh? I don't want money, but this is our busy season, and we're short-handed. If you want to stay here, you can work. Me work? Yes. You'll be surprised how much fun it can be. From wedding bells to weeding. Wedding bells that didn't ring. All right, I'll give it a try. Good. Toby, it's a swell night. How about going for a walk? Well, all right. I'm not going far, though. I'm awfully tired. Listen, Toby, I've been here a week now, and you know pretty much all there is to know about me, but I don't know anything about you. How about it? Well, it's a short story. My father had a lot of money. I was engaged to a man named David Hilton. And my father's business failed. He committed suicide. Why, you poor kid. David couldn't face keeping his promise to a suicide bankrupt's daughter. So he walked out. A dirty bum. The only thing father left me was this farm. We, we used to use it as a summer hideaway. Gramp and I came out here, and we've been out here ever since. And somehow we've managed to make a go of it. Your troubles make mine seem pretty small. I wish I had half your courage. Oh, don't say that. Lord, you're adorable. Oh, Carrie, please, don't. Oh, Toby. Oh. I'm sorry, Toby. I didn't mean to kiss you. It was a rotten thing to do. Why? Because it's... It's no use. I'm no good. I, I never was and I never will be. I can never bring you happiness. I'm just a derelict. Some derelicts are well worth reclaiming. Not this one. Oh, it's... It's no good, Toby. What you're really trying to tell me is that you don't love me. You're still in love with Cherry. I guess I am. 
All right, Carrie, let it go. Let's put it down to moon madness and forget it. Thanks. You know, you're rather wonderful, Toby. I guess I'll be getting on to bed. Oh, by the way, where's Carrie tonight, Toby? I don't know. I haven't seen him since dinner. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Yeah, you coming up now? No, no, I'm not sleepy. I think I'll just sit here on the porch for a while. Yeah, don't let the moonlight give you ideas. Well, <clears throat> good night. Good night, dear. Oh, I, I wonder if Carrie really is still in love with Sherry Marlowe. I guess he must be. Oh, dear, I wish I'd never seen him. I wish he'd never come to this house. Oh, there, Toby Ahoy. Oh, Carrie. Good old Toby. So you waited up for your wandering boy. Carrie Graham, you're tight. Tight isn't the word, dear. I'm blotto, but I don't care. Toby, I've reached a decision. Oh, a decision? Yes, Toby, darling. I've decided to marry you. What? Well, what can I lose? You're the best friend I ever met, and... I'm going to marry. Won't that be nice? Yeah, won't it? And what a priceless joke it will be on Sherry. Carrie, if you were in your right senses, I'd hate you for that. Oh, you're beautiful when you're angry, Toby. Come here. Stop it. Don't touch me. Oh, you're marvelous. Don't. Don't. Now get out. Toby, listen. Your car's been fixed. There's nothing to keep you here. Uh, Toby. I... I hate you and I never want to see you again. Now get out. Are you Miss Toby Ludlow? Yes. Well, I'm Manville Graham, Carrie's father. Oh, oh. Uh, won't you come in? Thank you. Mr. Graham, if, if you've come about Carrie, I don't know where he is. He left here a week ago. I haven't seen him since. I know where he is, but that isn't what I came for. Oh? I came to, to thank you for what you did for him and to ask you to do something else. I don't understand. Miss Ludlow, you performed a great service for Carrie. You brought him to his senses once. I've come out here to beg you to perform that miracle again. Why, what do you mean? When Carey came back to New York from your farm, he was a changed person. He told me he'd met the most wonderful girl in the world, only to make an awful fool of himself before discovering that he loved her more than anything else in life. Oh. And I told him to go back and tell that to you. But he decided that he wanted to make something of himself first. And then... Sherry Marlowe left her husband and came back to town. Yes. Since then, it's been the old story all over again. She exerts a peculiar fascination over Gary. And I think that you're the one person in the world who can stop it. Me? Gary loves you. Will you help him? Mr. Graham, I love Gary. I'll always love him. And you say he loves me, but... If he did, he wouldn't need my help to save him from another woman. And Toby... If Carrie were drowning, would you let him go to his fate because he happened to be a weaker swimmer than you? What do you want me to do? Oh, I'm giving a party aboard my yacht Saturday evening. Carrie is bringing Sherry Marlowe. I want you to come as my guest. Once aboard the yacht, though, I'm afraid I'll have to leave the rest to you. Will you come? All right. I'll come. <laughs> Toby, my dear, how charming you look. Oh. You're by far the most beautiful thing aboard this boat. Well, that helps, Mr. Graham. What's your plan, Toby? Uh, I haven't any. I'll just have to act, act on instinct. Well, now, I have an idea. Well, well. Toby Ludlow. David Hilton. Oh, Toby, I'm tickled to death to see you. Ah, old friends, I take it. <laughs> well, you might call it that. We, we were engaged once. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, there's some more people coming aboard. Now, if you don't mind, I'll leave you two together for a few moments. Certainly. Eh? Well, well, Toby, it's good to see you again. Is it? Yes, Toby. And I'm terribly ashamed and sorry the way I ran out on you. But Mother threatened to cut me off without a cent. Oh, skip it. 
David, yeah. who were you with here tonight? No one in particular. Why? David, you said you were sorry for the way you treated me. I am. It was a rotten thing to do. Would you like to try to square yourself? You just try me. All right. Now, just for tonight, I want you to pretend that you've fallen in love with me all over again. <laughs> well, that certainly won't be difficult. Well, what's the gag? I want to try to make a certain man jealous. It may not work, but it's worth a try. Okay with me. You mind telling me who the victim is? No, it's Carrie Graham. Graham? Well, he's... I, I know he's here with Sherry Marlowe, and I'm here to take him away from her. Are you with me? Carry on. I never did like that woman anyhow. Uh-oh, speak of the devil. Here they come now. Oh. Well, here goes. Toby, you've simply got to believe me. I was a fool to ever let you go. Now, tell me, tell me there's still a chance for me. Come on, play up, Toby. They're right back of us. All right. There's always a chance for you, David. Toby! Toby Ludlow! Oh, hello, Carrie. It's really you. <laughs> of course. By the way, do you know David Hilton? Oh, hello. Hello. Toby, how in the world did you ever get here? Your father asked me. He came up to the farm one day to, to thank me for taking care of you and asked me to come to this party tonight. Oh, it's funny you didn't tell me. Taking care of you, Carrie? What's all this? Oh, Sherry, I don't believe you've met Miss Ludlow. Well, how do you do? How do you do? So Miss Ludlow took care of you, Carrie? Well, I was her hired man and a darn good one, too, only I got drunk and she fired me. Hired man? Carrie, you have a lot of explaining to do. Come and do it while I have another cocktail. Well, uh, oh, all right. I'll see you later, Toby. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 seems to be working. Oh, David, do you think so? There's no doubt about it. He's gone over there across the deck with Sherry, but he's still watching you. He can't take his eyes off you. Come on, let's get his coat. How? What do you mean, how? You know as well as I do. Here, hold my hand. All right. Yeah, that's right. Now look up at me wistfully. What? Wistfully, I said, not absent-mindedly. Well, how's that? That's pretty good. You're improving. Aha, uh -huh, it's working. He's beginning to scowl. Oh, good. David, put your arm around me. Not a bad idea. You're catching on. Uh-huh. I thought that would do the trick. Here he comes. Oh, Toby, I want you to marry me soon. Oh, I want to speak to her right away. Come here, Toby. Yes, but I've just... I'll be back in just a minute, David. Will you keep that offer open until I return? It will always be open. Toby, you aren't going to marry that rotter, David Hilton. He's not a rotter. Well, he's not good enough for you. You have too much pride to marry him after what he did to you. You, you don't seem to be overburdened with pride yourself. I don't matter, but you do. Tremendously. Oh, Carrie, I... To whom does Miss Ludlow matter so tremendously? To me, Sherry. Carrie, I've had enough of this nonsense. Ever since this person came aboard, you haven't been yourself. I'm going ashore right now, and you're going with me. Oh, no, I'm not. And I've never been more completely myself than I am at this moment. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, suit yourself. I intend to. Well, she's gone. Oh, Carrie, I... I'm afraid you've offended us. I'm afraid I have. So what? But, Carrie, I, I thought that you said that oh, you and skip she... it. Toby, darling, you once said some derelicts were worth saving. Is this one? But, Carrie, you aren't a derelict anymore. Toby, don't you know that I'll always be one if you don't marry me? Are you sure this time you really love me? Toby, I've been sure of it ever since that night at the farm. The only reality is you. I knew that the moment I saw you tonight. Oh, Toby, dear. Oh, Carrie. Not here. Everybody will see us. Darling, who cares? You have been listening to a romance featuring the Love Story Girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine. Listen for the Love Story Girl in a new romance next week.